see, once you know, once you know that, once you figure out that the government, right, and all our family members, it's all, it's all one thing. They all keep the game going, right? Their whole plan is to keep the game going. So we're all out here arguing while the bourgeoisie, yeah, sitting on every terrace, sipping that champagne and caviar. Here's a perfect example. Mr. Adam Harris, uh, our very own Taoiseach's brother, randomly tweets yesterday, just left the Gresham. Now, for people outside of Ireland, that's a hotel. Management asked a group of people wearing hijabs to leave as it was an area for residents, but didn't ask us or the table next to us. I queried and was told it was sometimes obvious by appearance or aspect, but wasn't racism. Complaint sent, he said. Now, what a fuck, what a little, like, do you, do you think when you read that, do you think, uh, isn't it great? Isn't it great that we have people out there that call out racism? Yeah. That's what you, that's what you're probably thinking. Not, not people who know the stuff I talk about on my channel and what I'm about. But you know, you probably think mostly the same because you watch me and tune in. Right. But this is complete false flag. This is a this is like a mini false flag, in a sense, because all he's doing is hyping racism even more. You might say, "I know it was great that he was trying to like uh, stand up for the women." How was he standing up for the women? He all he did was go up and he queried about it. Imagine he took. He took the time out of his day, whatever he was doing that morning, eating his breakfast or whatever. But he thought, no, I have to go up and I have to say something about that. But that they weren't residents of the place. They weren't residents. And and he's saying to himself, but we weren't residents, but they didn't kick us out. So he felt compelled to go up and complain about it. You see, it's these little things, people. We have to We have to hold them accountable. Keep all these receipts. Because these are all purposely being, all these little magical little tweets are purposely being done to store up tensions even more. And I know there are going to be people that are listening to this going and see me as the bad guy for, for trying to talk down about him speaking up about racism. When I'm telling you, he's just, he's doing it for a reason. He's keeping racism in the forefront of your mind. That's what he's doing. That's what they have to do in order to keep the flooding of the country going, you know. They have to, oh, no, that's racist. No, soon it'll be, if you just look at them, you'll be racist, do you know. That's how bad it's going to get if this keeps up. But, yeah, I just thought I'd do that. Now, the, 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 the Ireland's awake. Ireland's awake to this. There's a lot of people in this thread, and you can see he's had 115 reposts. 115 reposts since yesterday. The comments are shooting up on it because people are copping onto these bourgeoisie. You get me? It's the Taoiseach's brother saying this stuff. I'm going to read it out again in case people, in case you're missing what I'm saying here. So he says, I just left the Gresham Hotel. Management asked a group of people wearing hijabs to leave as it was an area for residents but didn't ask us or the table next to us. I I queried, I queried it, you should have said, come on now, and was told it was sometimes obvious by appearance. What? Was that actual sentence? I'm going to read that back now. I queried and was told it was sometimes obvious by appearance or aspect, but wasn't racism. Complaint sent. So let's have a little read. Now, I was like, Jesus, I said, McEntee won't be happy. I said, she wants to ban face masks everywhere. You know, she wants to ban all face masks. What do you do then? You know, so you catch these people out on their little lies, man. 
Uh, John in London, God bless her, does great work. Give her a follow, everyone. This J uh, JK London, John in London is her name. She's a great woman. Uh, maybe see if your big brother Simon Harris can sort this out for you. Whilst you're at it, maybe ask them to have a look at the sexualization and indoctrination of children in schools, as this particularly affects those who have autism. It may be in may be of interest to you. Yeah, because he's um what did they make him? He's like CEO of ASL AM Ireland, which is like uh, for autism. Autism, autism, look, I thought, autism awareness. Yeah. Uh, Taxi Dave, he has some blade. Hold on, pal. Doesn't your brother want uh, want to make wearing masks in public be illegal? <laughs> Why should the hijab be any different? Brilliant, brilliant, Taxi Dave. Love it. What's this got to do with racism? The last time I checked, Islam was not a race. There you go. Uh, now, you have the few that come in, like this. Coil of Ween, Gallagher. Appalling. Thanks for both addressing it on the ground and calling it out here, Adam. Both vital to address this. Like, And then you go in, right, and you see, right, 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 come on, who are you with then? Who are you with? Oh, you're a lawyer, are you? You're a lawyer, an, an, an expert, expertise in human rights, journalist safety, are you? You see what I mean? It's the same, they're all part of the same system, people. They're all part of the same system. I know people watching the night teams know this, but for the new people that are watching it, they're all the same, these. Uh, so you think banning the hijab is a better option, just like in France? Now, you have seen my videos of France, and my heart bleeds for France, because France is just gone. Countryside might still be okay for now, but... Northern France, au revoir, it's gone. Maybe. Muslims wearing hijabs just shows that Muslims have no interest in assimilation. Uh, TG, that, deg uh, that digression is trying to maintain standards for their Christian and Jewish guests. And he's just trying to wind them up. Tall Paul's just trying to, you know, trigger them a little, wind them up. Finton says, imagine holding your own brother accountable for his nonsense talk about scoliosis. He says, fuck off, you race-baiting clown. Now, Finton, bang on, perfect. That is the perfect comment. Two things you hear me. Perfect, son, perfect. Ninja, no, you don't give this lad a fellow. He's another good Irish lad. You're the brother of Simon Harris. Wouldn't believe a word out of your mouth. Plain and simple. Now, now, here's one. Where I had to reply and try and try teach people, yeah, because everything we see has been in the in the books for years, okay. So this Colette Kelleher, right? Let's see, where are you? Who do you work for, Kelleher? Where, 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 where are you with? What are you with? I learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. So that's our quote. That's our whole bio. Doesn't say what she's working at, at, working as or anything. But I can guarantee. Ah, there you go. Look at she's sharing Palestinian stuff and all. So it does not say at all. Do you know? Sharing the culture nights. Oh, isn't it great? Isn't it great? We have all these other cultures over here celebrating and all. But these these fuckers would couldn't give two shits about Irish culture. That's what gets me. Do you know? But she said. Uh, what was it? She said. Yeah, is in Islamophobia is rampant. <laughs> Here we are, Taxi Dave. I I linked I linked um, so I linked our quote back. Going, I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. So have a listen to this, and I linked Christopher Hitchens talking about the warning he was giving the world about this Islamophobia that they're going to use on the world in order to protect. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Damn. In order to protect uh, government in the sense of what they're doing, like flooding countries in the West, they're going to use things like Islamophobia and put them all out there, put that word out there. But Taxi Dave says, uh, in quotes, Islamophobia is common sense. Nobody wants to get their head chopped off because people 
we had this fella here called Yusuf Palini, Palini, whatever. <clears throat> he was a, he was living in Sligo, and he he was meeting gay gay men through a uh, grinder. I think it's grinder or uh, Tinder or whatever. I don't know. I'm not gay, so it's one of them apps. <clears throat> and uh, he was meeting up with these blokes, yeah. And two of them, he killed two of them. He chopped their heads off. He chopped their uh, penises off. You know, that's these. Are, this is the psychos that we're letting into the country. But yet, they've made a point of putting Islamophobia in quotes because it's not a real fucking thing. Islamophobia. What are you talking about? It's completely Hitchens fucking told us. Christopher Hitchens. Go look at Christopher Hitchens. That's why I linked it in this woman's post, hoping she will look at it and come to a, an understanding of what the fuck is going on. Do you know? <clears throat> Here we go. Mainly because Western societies respect women, dogs, pigs and homosexual people. Do you think women are inferior to men? Do you think dogs are filthy? Do you think, uh, do you think it's a grave sin to eat pork and bacon? Do you think homosexuality is a crime? I'm gonna sh a crime. I'm gonna share that one because this is the this is the thing that the lefties and all them, the NGOs, the bourgeoisies, this is the thing that they're neglecting. You know, <clears throat> I likened it. To, I was on a live with Jim. Shout out to Jim. Okay, I was on a live with him last night, and this came up. He said something about people's awareness about what's going on around them, and I said I just watched a video on an American, two American black people, a black male and a black female. And the black male was, he was very intelligent, you know, very articulate. <clears throat> and he kept hearing a beeping on your woman's end, on the black woman's end, right? And he's like, can you not hear that? And she's like, hear what? And he's like, that beep, that the fire alarm, do you not hear that going off every 20 seconds? And she's like, I don't, I never hear no fire alarm. What are you talking about? And as she finishes the sentence, it beeps. And he goes, there it is again. Did you not hear it? And she goes, no. <laughs> That's just showing you that the awareness with some people is just gone. It's not, it's non-existent. You know? And, and that seems to be the case with all these people that are getting, Islamophobia is rampant. What the fuck are you talking about, Kelly? You're off here, I believe, nut love. You need to do some research. What's this? So is white hate via the Zionists flooding Europe to break the sovereign backbone of a nation. It's engineered. Uh, Dave, uh, Dave, I suppose he means uh, they've not figured this out yet, question mark. Pa, you're, you're on the ball. You're on the ball there with that one. Because they are flooding the nations over here. Uh, what other one? There was one more there. Where was it? Oh, there. Carmel. I'm going to give her a retweet. Because she said, you want to be treated how they treat women then? Because let's not forget how they treat women over there. Sorry, let's not forget how they treat women within Islam. And it's weird because the women kind of, I do say to myself, how come the women haven't been revolted? They have in the past. They have in the past. It's, it's just that the Westerns, the Americans and Israel started all this stuff in the Middle East again, you know? They created ISIS, you know? So if you are going to blame anyone, blame the Americans and Israel. Because <laughs> they're the ones that... Obama created ISIS. If that's news for you, well then, catch up. Get fucking blackpilled. Because this shit is speeded up and it's not going to slow down. And... More strength is going to be added to it by the likes of this Kele Kelleher, where uh, Islamophobia is rampant. Shut the fuck up, Kele. Go and learn some stuff before you start talking shite. Because what she said is exactly what uh, Mr. Hitchens was telling us about was coming. And it's the fucking white women that are doing this, do you know what I mean? Appalling. This one, uh, the other one, Gallagher. Appalling. Thanks uh, for both addressing it on the ground and calling it out here, Adam. Do you know? You're a f useless, waste of sperm, these women, I swear to God. It's like they want their own enslavement. Excuse me. 
passes, what causes autism? People that have tried to jab into that causing it, but I probably won't be able to put the video up now. I said that quick <laughs> to the virtue signal. <laughs> nice one, Simeon. But yeah, it's just. Um, see, they're, they're, they've, they've, they're so brazen because they've gotten away with talking to us like this. That's what it is. He's bourgeoisie. They've gotten away for it, away with it for so many generations that they're just as brazen as anything now, and they're going a little bit for it. They're overstepping, you know. They're overstepping a certain boundary. <clears throat> but yeah, I just thought I'd share that. Adam Harris, the T Shock's brother, out there. Do you know what? And do you know what? It's probably even. It's probably not even true. It's probably not even true. What he said. Probably just. Complete misinformation. But I just thought I'd do a video on that to show you these fuck.